Hi everybody, I'm in Stockholm, Sweden, and right now we're at Hammerby Stostad, which is an urban redevelopment of an industrial area. The overall concept was to make a sustainable neighborhood that wasn't just an area that people lived and worked, but also where they took care of the wastewater, they took care of their own fuel and water treatment, and overall incorporate every aspect of living into their lifestyle. One of those examples would be here, where they use plants to help take out the runoff water before it goes back out to the normal sea area. If you look up on the hillside as well, this is the combustion plant where they take the sewage and produce biogas. They also have another thermal plant where they use the combustibles that are not sewer but just trash and turn that into electricity and natural gas. The natural gas is then used to help power the buses and other transportation needs. And some of the buildings here, they also have incorporated not just normal solar panels, but they've also put them vertically on the side of the buildings. And this is to help account for the lower angle of the sun for the long hours of the summertime and really help them optimize the usage of energy in space. The really important thing to understand about Henry Stostad is that this is the preeminent model for sustainable living in the world. People from China, from Saudi Arabia, and America come here to learn about sustainable neighborhoods, and it's a key aspect to learning how we can live better.